Welcome to Wind Chime Story Time. I'm David. And I'm Reese. Today we are reading the story of Glow, the Fairy of Dreams by Liana Wall. Let's join the fairies in Enchant Dreamwood, where the season of summer is bringing a bright new feeling to everyone. Summertime had finally started in Enchant Dream. The early sun rises, the chirps and sweet songs from the birds. Everything was so pleasing. Summer was the realm of Enchant Dream's favorite time of year. This particular year, the gnomes wanted to plant one special yellow flower in honor of the final fairy princess that was due to arrive soon. They wanted this special flower to be bright yellow like the sun. However, the little gnomes were not very organized gardeners, and so, all agreeing to the wonderful idea, each gnome planted a flower each instead of just one between them. There were now countless different yellow flowers in the gardens. The kingdom did not mind this mistake by the gnomes as they always were such thoughtful and attentive gardeners. They knew that the fairy princess would enjoy every one of the flowers they had kindly and delicately planted for her. Meanwhile, Sparkle, Glitter, Tinsel, Twinkle, and Dottie were all dancing by the River of Wonders, all excitable in discussing their final new fairy sister all imagining what she would look like and what power she might bring to Enchant Dream. Glitter especially loved the river. She enjoyed pointing her toes as she dipped them in the warm water. All the fairies were full of gladness, spinning, twirling, smiling, and laughing. They were very excited about what was to come. Selena was watching from the willow tree and smiled with amusement as the many beautiful new yellow flowers planted by the gnomes. As Selena watched the flowers, they started to grow more quickly than anything she had seen before, blooming perfectly with their bright, silk-like petals. The color filled the garden of Enchandrium like a blanket of gold. Selena then knew she was about to welcome the fifth princess fairy. Just as the final flower opened its last petals, Selena welcomed her fifth and final fairy daughter. The other fairy princesses were called by Selena, and together they all flew up to the Willow Palace and were amazed by how bright and yellow their sister's hair and wings were. Look at how bright she is, said Sparkle. Wow, her wings are beautiful like the sunshine, said Glitter. We must name her after the sun. She is like a wonderful glow of light, said Tinsel. Yes, let's name her Glow, said Twinkle. And they did. Glow, the youngest of the fairies, already had the guidance of her four big sisters. She was sure to be looked after and loved so much. Selena watched all five fairies hug and embrace. She was full of so much happiness, joyful in the knowledge that her kingdom had grown perfectly right from the very start. As the youngest and smallest fairy, Selena wanted Glow to have a guidance friend and summoned upon the fairy unicorn Goldie to look after her. Selina made Goldie a very special part of the fairy kingdom, just like Dottie the ladybird. Goldie was a beautiful soft white unicorn with a long gold shimmering mane, who was a trusted friend of Selina's. Goldie flew everywhere with Selina when she had become queen of the fairies many moons ago. Only time would tell what the final fairy power would be for Glow. Selena was always watching and listening. As the days went by, 
Glow was always flying with Goldie to the yellow flower garden that the gnomes had planted for her as a special gift. This was her favorite place to go in Enchandream, and it was created just for her. Glow always carried with her a stem flower pen and petal notebook in her fairy bag. She enjoyed sitting among the flowers, writing down all her thoughts, ideas, and things she and Goldie saw together. Glow also liked to make things. She liked to draw, paint, and dance. She was always singing, too. She wanted to do everything she possibly could in Enchandream. However, Glow seemed a little different from her older sisters. Unlike the others who always completed every task, Glow always wanted to move on to the next chore activity right away just to make sure she did not miss out on anything. Like the yellow flowers planted for her by the gnomes, yellow was her favorite color. The caterpillars made her the prettiest of yellow dresses, so much so that when she sat on the flower petals, you couldn't see her. Goldie always waited for her at the edge of the flower garden to make sure Glow was always protected as Selena had instructed. Glow liked this, as she liked to keep all her ideas safe in her petal notebook and all her plans written down just to make sure she would never forget any. Glow was a very busy fairy that did not seem to want to stop. Many times, she made her fairy sisters, Goldie the Unicorn, Dottie the Ladybug, and her mother Selina wonderful gifts. Flower necklaces, paintings of the animals, she even taught her sisters and little Dottie new dance moves, which they enjoyed very much. They all had no idea how Glow had so much energy, or how she was consumed by so many ideas in her head and things she wanted to do. One summer's afternoon, Glow felt she wanted to teach the other creatures in Enchandream about all her fascinating discoveries. She had a feeling inside of her that she wanted to talk all about her ideas, plans, and goals. Glow set up a little school in the Evermore Oak Tree and used the mushrooms and toadstools as chairs and invited all she knew to come to her teaching school. Glow invited her sisters, pixie friends, the wise owl, the squirrels, the birds, the butterflies, the caterpillars, and of course, Goldie, Dottie, and Selena. Glow started by giving each of them an elm leaf to draw on and a honey stick to write with. She asked them to write what they loved most about Enchandream Wood. Selina watched from the side of the Evermore tree, gazing over the spectators she had invited, so very proud of Glow and her decision to be a wonderful leader and teacher. She had a lot of knowledge for a little fairy. Unexpectedly during this time, Glow's wings started to shine so bright that it took all that were there by surprise. Glow, look at your wings said Tinsel. As Glow looked to the side to see her shining bright wings, she said, I was only thinking of being the best fairy I can possibly be. All the creatures looked on in amazement at what was happening to Glow. They all smiled and turned to look at Selina. Selina stepped forwards smiling and listening to all the ideas and dreams Glow was discussing with her friends. She knew that Glow's power was not only a magical one, but one that had the biggest inspiration of them all. She had the gift of dreams. Whilst everyone watched in amazement, Selina began to open her wings wide, more so than ever before, and filled with all the colors of the rainbow, Softly she sang, Your name is Wondrous Glow. You're bright like sunshine yellow. You have lots of dreams. 
especially at night, when you rest your head on your pillow. You want to be the best fairy, you have the desire you will see. I want you to always know, you can be anything you want to be. Glow's wings returned to normal, and her sisters were fascinated to hear about all the plans she had for them. Despite being the smallest and youngest of the princesses, she was a very clever little fairy. Once Glow completed her Evermore tree lesson, Selina called all the fairies to the Willow Palace. My beautiful daughters, said Selina. Glo has been given the gift of dreams. This means now that whenever a human has a goal, vision, or wants to achieve something, we will know, as her wings will shine ever so brightly. That is when you have to encourage them, Glo, and help the humans believe they can do anything. I really will, said Glo. Believe and you shall find, my darling princesses, said Selina as she made her way out of the Willow Tree Palace. The fairy sisters all danced with joy that their smallest sister had the brightest gift. Glow continued to dream all of the ideas, plans, and adventures that she would achieve in Enchandream and thought about always wanting to help all those who have their special dreams and goals too. Selina was so delighted that all her magical powers had now been passed on to her fairy princess daughters. She was sure that the kingdom of Enchandream and the human world would continue to have hope, courage, love, truth, and dreams. The five magic powers were set to guide and inspire the humans and all the creatures now and for all time. Thanks for listening to Windchime Storytime. Have a pleasant day. And the next adventure's on the way. Bye. Bye.